Welcome to PS Designer Tutorials. In this video, we are going to cover the shape tool and the types of anchor points that are involved. So the first thing we want to do is create a new design. We're going to go to the Home tab and click on New. Next, we want to bring in a design. So we're going to go down and make sure that we have our Designs button selected. So we're in the One PS Designs folder, we're going to click on Blocks. And then we're going to scroll down until we find the design that we want to use. So we are going to select Block of Hearts. And I'm going to click on it and drag it over into my workspace. Next, we're going to come over and select the Shape tool. You'll notice that all of the lines have turned pink and we have blue anchor points throughout the design. Those anchor points are used to create the design as well as edit the design. Let's go up to this top left corner and I'm going to right click on that anchor point. We have options here where you can add a point, delete a point, but we're going to focus on the line, cusp, smooth, and symmetrical. So I'm going to click on Line. When a line is the anchor point that you have selected, it's going to be a straight line coming in and out of that anchor point. With the line anchor point, you'll notice you have a straight line coming in and out of that anchor point. You'll notice, however, that this line is still kind of curved. That is because the anchor point at the other end of that line is a curved anchor point. Okay, let's move over here to the top right corner. We're going to click on that anchor point. And for this one, we are going to choose the cusp. Cusp, you'll notice, adds these handles on here. These handles are independent, so I can click on one of the handles and I can rotate it. I can also lengthen it and shorten it, and you can see how that is changing the shape of my line. There's also the anchor point, or the handle on the other side, which does the same thing, but independently. So the cusp is a curved with independent lines and anchor handles. Okay, let's move down to our next corner down here. And I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to change it to smooth. So the smooth is going to balance out. Let me scroll a little bit there. And makes the curve coming in and out the same. Again, it has the anchor handles, and let's see how those interact with each other. So if I click on the anchor handle and I move it, you'll notice as I'm rotating it, it rotates both sides together. I can change the length of one side without changing the length of the other side, however. So rotation is the same. The length of the handle is different. Okay, let's move over to our last point over here, and I'm going to right click on it and come down and choose symmetrical. This time with the handles, they rotate together and they lengthen or shorten together on both sides. And you'll notice with this one, if I rotate it far enough, I can unloop that design. Or if I keep rotating it, I can loop it around again. So play with all of those different types of anchor points and have fun and see what you can create.